Well, come on, tell us your big secret. Tell us why you were forced to leave Harmony. I will, son. Just take it easy. You might hope that I wouldn't have to burden you with the truth. I was, uh, I was afraid of the danger that I'd be putting you in. It seems like all those fears, it's too late now. Oh, come on, would you just get to it? Luis. Favor. Martin, you're frightening me. Come on, there's nothing to be scared of. You're just trying to make it sound worse than it really is. No, son. Nothing could be worse than what I'm about to tell you. It involves life and death. And you won't like what you're about to hear. Yes, me, Martin. The reason you left us involves someone's death. Who's death? Are you sure you still want to know? Would you stop being so dramatic and just tell us? Yes, we want to know. Yes, Luis, I will, all right? I just want to make sure that your mother is prepared to hear this. Oh, come on, would you stop trying to scare her with your ridiculous tall tale? I assure you, it's no tall tale. It's a dark secret, one that, and one that I've carried in my heart for many years. I never wanted to burden you with it. But you deserve to know the truth. All right, then tell us. Luis, you, uh, you remember when I had you help me build the gazebo on the crane grounds? You were just a little fellow. The gazebo again? Yes. I didn't want you helping me because I thought it might be too dangerous, but you insisted. Yeah, I remember. You couldn't get rid of me. No. But I wish that I had never allowed you to help. Here's some wood, Papa. All right, just put it on over there. You're a good helper, Luis. It's fun. I like helping you build things. Yeah, well, just be careful. I don't want you getting hurt. I'll be careful, Papa. All right, I'm going back there. You watch the saw. Don't touch it. What's this? Looks like some kind of a sack. But what you doing here, right at the edge of the gazebo? Don't touch that! Now you leave that alone! Don't touch that, son! I remember I found, um... It's the corner of what looked like a... A burlap sack? I remember you really freaked out. You told me not to touch it. There was a very good reason for that. Why? What was in that sack? Why, what was in that burlap bag? Why did you pull me away from it and bury it under all that dirt again? I didn't do anything, Pilar. I was just following orders. Orders? From whom? From above. You mean Alistair? Luis, listen. Lopez Fitzgerald. Oh, Mr. Lopez Fitzgerald, this is Wendy, one of the maids at the main house. Miss Sheridan received a message from Gwen Winthrop's psychiatrist. Gwen's psychiatrist about what? Well, he wants to talk to her about Mrs. Winthrop, but he didn't give me any details. But I called down to the cottage, and there was no answer, so I came down here to deliver the note. But Miss Sheridan isn't here. Yeah, of course she's there. She was sleeping when I left. Well, no, sir. Her shoes are beside the bed, but there's no sign of her. Oh, my God. I hope she's not sleepwalking. Sheridan! Sheridan, you here? Sheridan! Sheridan! She's gone. You said you left when she was sleeping? Yeah, she was right here. She was sleeping. I just went to talk to Father Lonnie about rescheduling our wedding. What? Check the bathroom. No sign of her. Did you say that you were worried that she was sleepwalking? Yeah. Oh, God. She could be out there with no shoes, no jackets, freezing death, and not even know it. Sheridan! Oh, my God. Where can she be? I don't know. Come on. Let's go. We'll meet him around the front. We have to find her. All right, listen, we'll, we'll, we'll split up and we'll cover more ground, okay? Anything? Hey. Ah! Sheridan. Oh, God, I hope we're not too late. 